say, man, I don't give a fuck about the feds, DEA, ATF, Task Force, Jump Out Boys, or your local neighborhood robbers, baby. I got to keep on pushing. That's, uh, though the number of people who can actually, you know, make this work is very, very small. I hope that while we are having the, the discussion about these men going to these other countries, that there are some, um, that people are, people with power are paying attention. People with power paying attention. That was uh, a lot of peace, plosive there. I'm a regular looking black woman. And I always have to bite my tongue because so often it's those people who feel like they're just a tiny bit above you on the beauty hierarchy who be really trying to go in so hard. And I'm like, you're a regular looking black woman too. We're all regular looking. There's something so interesting about the way that we engage with the beauty hierarchy that people who believe that they're a 7.7 will say to me, you ugly, nasty, big nose bitch, you're a 7.2. Shut your fucking mouth, ugly bitch. I'm a 7.5. I'm like, we all in the same boat. Baby, we see each other. It takes a lot of restraint to not be like, you could be my cousin. What are we talking about here? Depending on the street corner you're standing on, we're rated the same. But I don't say that. I don't say that because that's not productive. Why would you say anything less than you are gorgeous? Me saying that I occupy toward the median in physical attractiveness is not me saying I am not worthy of literally everything in the world that I desire. That's not me saying that I deserve to be treated poorly and I'm not going to get what I want out of life and I'm going to settle for ancient niggas. It's an understanding of the way that the world works. Same way I say I'm not the richest person in the world. And I actually think that a refusal to accept that average or regular is not the worst thing in the world to be, keeps many of us in bondage. It keeps us in a chokehold. If ugly is the very worst thing that you can be and regular is like one step above ugly, then you're always gonna be clawing, 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 clawing. No, I'm good. I have some privileges. I don't have other privileges. That's life. Make peace with it. Get you a good support system. Monitor. Black girl, if you a 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 black girl, do your thing. Well, <laughs> ah, fuck, man. All right. I wanted to show you that opening clip because I want to explain why I'm making this video. All right. I want to show you that clip because this female pisses me off to no end, okay? She pisses me off to no end. And I haven't had anyone piss me off. As, I haven't had anyone piss me off like this in a long time and shit. Not even a bald eagle, but this chick pissed me off and shit. I, the last time I was this pissed off, it was that damn Dana Dane 1987, bitch. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. This She had the nerve to float that there should be legislation, you know, implied anyway, that, that restricts black men from traveling abroad, okay? Or eliminating their actions in other countries. Like, we're just going to fly there and go into a enclosed area and shouldn't be policed in another country. You know, I don't know what she was inserting, but it was reckless and whatnot. And, you know, if she was any kind of responsible human being, she would have offered some kind of an apology or a course correct that should have explained herself in depth so that I wouldn't have that, you know, so that I wouldn't think that. Okay, this is for Harriet and shit. Her name is some... Who cares what her fucking name is? She's some biatch. Nobody really gives a fuck about outside of her online presence. And that's not even a real world. That's the goddamn social construct of fucking Matrix for all intents and purposes and shit. But I wanted you to see this shit. You know, I want you to see that little tip snippet to know why I was making this, this motherfucking video shit. Because I'm tired of her ass and 
And I'm tired of people like her. She, she says she's a feminist. And I don't even believe that shit, okay? I believe she, I don't believe she's a goddamn feminist. Even the ones that I call fake misandrous feminists and shit, okay? Pseudo-intellectual misandrous bullshit, you know? That's what she spews. Okay, and I'm tired of it and shit. And it's time for her to get a clap clap. It's Good Friday, all right? It's Good Fucking Friday. And be, be that as it may, I've decided to roll out something I haven't had in a long, and I do mean a long, long fucking time. I like to call this Bust Down Friday, okay? And and today we will have Four Harriet on there and shit. And I may do a couple more episodes. Fair use, fair use, okay? Fair use. I post the shit all over the place. If you can't fucking read, you hear my voice saying it and shit, okay? So so she now in these clips she was addressing something called pretty privilege and shit. And it, I I laugh anytime I hear any female content creator talking about pretty privilege and shit because truly pretty people never talk about this shit. It's like that thing I always said, you know, when they talk about what they want like the three sixes and all this other shit that a man has to have or bring to that that bullshit table that doesn't talk. That doesn't actually exist, that red table or shit, I guess. The one that Jada sits at. Yeah. Yeah, she's talking about pretty privilege and shit. I want to tell you that the high class, high number women never talk about the shit. Okay? They just do. They just live their lives. Society makes them a princess and shit, whether you like it or not and shit. Okay? They don't have to say shit. The guy pays the bills and he does whatever else fuck she wants and shit and she in turn, gives her body to him, okay? At the very fucking least, okay? And the second level is a girlfriend experience. At the third level, you know, maybe she gives a shit, you know? Maybe not. Maybe they just have a really good, you know, uh, arrangement, okay? You will never know this, poor Harriet. You will never know this. You are a fucking parody. <laughs> just you talking about it is hilarious and shit. I want to thank you because, you know, I've been thinking about bringing back this segment for a minute and shit, okay? All right? Now, she thinks she's a high number in the sexual marketplace, especially down here in the slave quarters. She thinks she's a high number because of her education and, I guess, her weave and shit and, you know, some, some articles of clothing and shit. But you, you can see she's a dork. She's a big nerd, okay? She's a female nerd and a dork and shit. And she pretends to be a feminist, but she's really not a feminist. She's really just drinking lemonade all day and shit, mad as fuck. I don't know why any other black woman would even, you know, have anything to do with her and shit, okay? Like, in a crowd, she disappears, okay? Like a crowd of women. she You wouldn't notice her first. You wouldn't probably notice her last unless the whole entire room emptied out and shit, okay? And be that as it may, because she always insults black men, always attacks black men because they're low-hanging fruit. She perceives them as beneath her because of, I don't know, maybe her education or whatever the fuck. You know, because she perceives that. And, you know, before I even get into that, you know, like, I, I recently, I, I believe that she had a boyfriend or something. Who knows if she still has the boyfriend? But, like, you know, like a low-value woman, when they get a man, they just start talking about, like, Oh, me and my boyfriend and blah, 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 yada, 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 all this shit. They always like that because they finally caught one. It's like they got the butterfly net out, threw it over the nigga's head and drug him off kicking and screaming to her house and shit to be uh, gaslit to, till he wants to get in his coffin and be buried alive. <laughs> so, all right, for anybody within the sound of my voice, male, female, everything in between and shit. All right, I want you in the comments section. I want you to give her a rating and shit, you know? Shout out to Mark Zuckerberg, <laughs> who became a multi-billionaire, trillionaire and shit, you know, starting up with shit like this, if you believe that stupid movie they made about his life. All right? And, you know, I wouldn't, I, I don't even do, in the past, I haven't done this before. I just used the platform to rip into, you know, really low-class women that were, had, like, Stockholm Syndrome was taught, being egregious about it. But today we're going to bring that back for, for Harriet because Harriet thinks that, you know, there should be legislation to keep black men you know, like in the Petri dish, you know, in this porta potty we call America, three K's and sex. She thinks that we should not be allowed to go out and have freedom and range of movement that our women enjoy, that 
how women do the most egregious things on the world stage and shit. She never addresses that, nor should she into it now, because she wouldn't know, because hot women and shit, even women like in, that are fives, and she's not even a five, uh, would not include her in their number unless she was a serf, okay, a straight up peasant and shit, an apprentice, okay? And just for clarity and shit, I remember years ago, I can't say what industry I was working in, but I happened to meet I happened to meet three three porn stars. And and two of them were already accomplished. And I want to tell you that they actually had uh, an intern. They had a chick that was interning and shit that they were taking as an apprentice. And she became a porn star leader. I'll just laugh my fucking ass off of shit. And this was when, you know, you know, I'll just say one of the, the chicks named the one of the female's name was uh Monica Maserati, <laughs> and you know she's a a uh, a pork, okay. And this is when she was at her smallest and the most fit. And the other chick, whose name I will not say, had uh, was the opposite of her with a giant pair of hooters. <laughs> this shallow Friday, and the chick they was tutoring, she was between both of them. She was like a, a chubby chub between both of them, and she became, you know, a star, uh, you know, uh, adult industry star in her niche. You know, later and ran, ran roughshod, retired and came back briefly. You know, it's just hilarious. I have to bring that up for, for clarity and shit. Well, why it's called, why on this good Friday, I roll out, well, bust down Friday. You know, that segment and shit. Okay. I want you guys to, I'm going to reiterate, you know, just in the comment section below, you can, you can give poor Harriet, you know, your rating and shit, you know, as a man. You know, the three Ps, the high class, or whatever whatever number you think you are doesn't matter and shit. We, it's all the same. They want us to pay them. Okay? That's the saddest thing in the world. All right? Saddest, saddest fucking thing in the world and shit is this sorry-ass bitch who wants men to be chained up and shit. And then they can just come get us when they need us and shit after they hit the fucking wall like they're going to Walmart. That's uh, though the number of people who can actually, you know, make this work is very, very small. I hope that while we are having the, the discussion about these men going to these other countries, that there are some um, that people are people with power are paying attention. People with power are paying attention. That was uh, a lot of peace plosive there. This message has been paid for by the Dusties. Yes, the niggas you love to hate.